For this problem, we need to find the dimension and basis for the null space of this matrix, minus 2, 4, 3, minus 6. Um, so to find the null space, what does that mean? Uh, if this is matrix A, um, the null space is the set of vectors that makes this equation true. Um, the matrix A times the vector x equals 0. Uh, and the way that we find that is just by finding the RREF of this. Um, so let's do that. This happens to be a really easy matrix. Um, just looking at it, I can tell that these are both multiples of each other. Um, but I'm going to simplify it out for you guys so you can see it. I'm going to multiply the first row by uh, minus 1 half. That gives me 1 minus 2. Uh, and I can use that to get rid of the second row completely. I'll have row 2 minus um, this version, 3 times row 1, this version of row 1. So that makes 0. And minus 6 minus 3 times minus 2 is just 0. So that's my null space. Um, so what's the basis for this? Let's make x2 equal to t. Equal to t. So that means x1 minus 2t equals 0. So x1 equals 2t. So now if I have that, that vector x that we were talking about earlier, where it's x1 and x2, um, my solution is going to be x1 is 2t and x2 is t, which we can pull out a t to write t times 2 and 1. Um, so that's my basis, basically. Um, not this t, but my basis is the vector 2, 1, um, because that's what spans the set, basically. And um, the dimension. What's the dimension? It's basically how many vectors you have. Therefore, like how many different directions is your um, null space going to be? So because there's only one vector, my dimension is 1. So that's all you need to do. Your basis is 2, 1, and your dimension is 1. 